ask, why are you a comic? And, and, you know, have you ever had that, that urge to eat something just because it's there? No. That's why I'm not a gynecologist anymore. Red Cross came to my door, asked me if I wanted to donate to the floods in Pakistan. I said, I would love to, but my garden hose only reaches to the end of my drive. <laughs> My wife said, well, are you going to be more helpful around the house now? I said, hey, I loaded the dishwasher. She said that getting her drunk didn't count. Uh, you know, we, uh, well, I still don't understand why women cry at weddings. I think the only ones that should be crying are the groom and his drinking buddies. <laughs> Because after I got married, I couldn't afford a new truck. Yeah. So I bought her a leather bra. At least she smelled like a new truck. <laughs> she never wanted to argue very though. She always wanted to talk about her feelings. Every time I told her to stick to the facts, she said, who the hell do you think you are, Joe Friday? Come on, everybody in this room is old enough to know who they are. <laughs> Anyone see the story about the 67-year-old lady in Spain who gave birth to twins? True story, yeah. At least she doesn't have to sit down to breastfeed. <laughs> I went to the doctor the other day to get a prescription refill. He reached in his pocket to pull out a pen to write the prescription. He pulls out a thermometer. I said, Doc, I said, you can't write a prescription with a thermometer. He says, I'll be damned. Some asshole's got my pen. <laughs> I told that last week and some lady right in front, right, right over her head, she says, well, what do you need the prescription for? What's wrong with you? I said, didn't you hear me? I got a pen stuck in my ass. <laughs> I was in for surgery a few years ago and, uh, you know, I told you that I don't masturbate, but I will tell you that if you do it when you hook up to the heart monitor, you scare the shit out of the nurses, I'll tell you that. When I was younger, I never wanted any kids, but now when I'm now that I'm older, I can appreciate the importance of having a house full. Because you never know when you're going to need a spare part. <laughs> Not that part. I'm talking about a kidney or a lung. You know, if you have enough kids, you might live forever. I'm screwed. All my kids are stepkids. None of their organs are going to match. My ex-wife's getting a kidney, a lung, and a new trunk. So I put together an old comics comedy tour. We tour old folks homes all around the country. Yeah, the juice bars compass all the Metamucil we could drink, and there's never a dry seat in the house. <laughs> For the benefit of those on life support, we call it the unplugged comedy tour. <laughs> Gotta be careful saying unplugged around old people. I'll tell you, that's what the men are for, Sonny. <laughs> 20 minutes after we leave, they're back in their room. They don't remember being at the show. Some old guy's asking his wife, hey, did I laugh today? She says, I don't know why. He says, there's poop in my pants. <laughs> I tell the young guys at my shows, don't worry about me checking out your girlfriend. At my age, checking out your girlfriend's grandmother. <laughs> Because those plastic hips can take a pounding. <laughs> Who's your grandson? <laughs> Who's your grandson? <laughs> oh, 
They had a camera stuffed up my ass last couple weeks ago. I was a little concerned when the doctor doing the ass cam couldn't tell me the difference between a rectal thermometer and an oral thermometer. I'm not a doctor, but my guess is they do not taste the same. But if the doctor ever tells me I have cancer, I want him, I want him to tell me I got Alzheimer's too. Then I can say, well, hell, at least I ain't got cancer. I mean, I'm already old enough to hide my own Easter eggs. At my age, I just hope I get home before I forget where the hell I live. That's why I have three dogs, because when I get home, my dogs never say, where the hell you been, you're late for dinner. My dogs never say, are you drinking again, or don't you think you had enough? Amen. They're just happy I'm home. Want to know why? They want to eat. Uh, I took him to see the rabbi, that's why. Yeah. Next time anyone sees their nuts, it's going to be on Fear Factor. Now, now, a lot of people think that's cruel. But humanitarian that I am, since they can't lick their nuts anymore, I let them lick mine! I'm not weird about it, I don't tie myself up first. <laughs> Some of my neighbors were at a show I did last week. Imagine what they think now when they see me walking the dogs. <laughs> think comedy's easy, you think it's easy to stand in front of a room full of strangers in Walla Walla, Washington and tell them that you let your dogs lick your nuts. <laughs> But we even scored a peanut butter commercial. Yeah, it's a new brand. Peter Butter. Let your dogs fluff your nutter. Think I named them all Timex because they're good watchdogs? Hell no. You get to finish this one. Yeah. You think I named them all, all, all Timex because they're good watchdogs? Hell no. It's because even when their tongues be sticking, they... Keep on licking, that's right, yeah. You know, when I got married again, you know, somebody asked me where I was registered. I said, the fucking New York State Sex Offenders Office? I'm a pet-a-file? Because you know what they say? Once you have black lab, you never go 